Everybody gets sick. It's a natural part of life. The most common thing people do is go to the doctors and get medication. However, not everybody has the luxury of doing so. On December 3rd, 2019, an article Key Facts About the Uninsured Population was published. Authors Jennifer Tolbert, Kendall Orgera, Natalie Singer, and Anthony D'Amico stated, for the second year in a row, the number of uninsured people has increased from 2017 to 2018 by nearly 500,000 people, the number of uninsured being the low-income families. As someone who is uninsured, I feel like people should know why healthcare is important. In my speech, I will be giving you insight on why healthcare should be free to all. In my speech, I will be talking about the uninsured population and why they are uninsured. Then I will be going over the pros of having free healthcare. And finally, I will be going over the so-called cons of having free healthcare. So let's start off with talking about the uninsured population. In the article, Health Insurance Coverage in the US 2018, which was published in 2019, it stated that in 2018, 8.5% of people or 27.5 million did not, have, did not have health insurance at all during the year. The uninsured rate has increased from 2017, which was 7.9% or 25.6 million. So there are many reasons as to why some people are uninsured. It could be because their job doesn't give them health coverage, they are undocumented, or they simply don't qualify for some health insurance. However, the main reason why many don't have health care is because they simply can't afford it. As stated before, the majority of those who are uninsured are low-income families. In the article, how much does how much does individual health insurance cost updated in 2018 it states that the average cost for health insurance is $388 a month low income in just California is considered $12,760 which means the average for an individual would be $1,063 a month which is barely enough to live off of. So, now that we've gone over the uninsured and why we are uninsured, it's time to talk about the pros of having free health insurance. So there are many pros as to why we should make health insurance free, but I'm going to be focusing on two main ones. The first pro of free healthcare, which was stated in Right to Healthcare's Pros and Cons, which was updated in 2019, was a right to healthcare could save lives. The article states that according to a study from Harvard researchers, lack of health insurance is associated with, me with as many as 44,798 deaths a year, which translate into 40% increased risk of death among the uninsured. Not only that, but it has been proven that in other countries which have right to healthcare, it shows that the people there live five years longer than those in the US. Another pro to free healthcare would be having free healthcare. It would make medical services more affordable for everyone. The article also states that according to Gallup poll, Paying for healthcare is the biggest financial problem in the U.S., which means that people would no longer have to pay ungodly amounts of money just because they had a trip to the doctor. So, now that we've gone over the pros of having free health insurance, it's time to talk about those so-called cons of having free health insurance. So, people could stay a few cons as to why we sh why giving free health insurance is bad. For starters, many people say that if the U.S. starts giving out free health insurance, 
then they would have to raise taxes on people. However, this wouldn't be the case if we were to take fundings from other programs, such as the military. So military spending is the second largest item in the federal budget after Social Security. As stated in the article, U.S. military budget, its components, challenges, and growth, which was updated in 2020. By doing this, there wouldn't be a need to raise taxes on people. We could just take it from the program that spends the majority of its fundings on nuclear modernization and give it to the program that helps save lives. Besides, there is no war going on at the moment, so there's no need to be spending so much money on the military that only spends it on building a ton of weapons. Now that we are coming to an end, let's review what we've gone over. In my speech, I gave you insight on why healthcare should be free to all. I went over the uninsured population and why they are uninsured. I talked about the pros of having free healthcare and then I went over the so-called cons of having free healthcare. People should not have to struggle to pay just to make sure that their lives aren't at stake. Especially with the whole pandemic going on at the moment, a lot of people are out of work so they can't possibly afford to pay, be paying all the medical bills that they receive. We need free healthcare now more than ever.